Nobody wants to be put in the friend zone with women that they want. Today, I'm gonna to show you five ways to avoid ending up in the friend zone in the first place. Let's get to it. Quality time, quality time. Be reckless. Oh, you are mine. Boogaloo. All right, so I was working with a student the other day, and one of his major sticking points was that he says he always gets friend zoned with hot women. Now, that sucks. I know that feeling. I've been there. And I could teach him how to get out of the friend zone, and I'll cover that in another video. But what's more important is never ending up in the friend zone in the first place. Let's talk about why most guys end up there. Now, it's usually one of or a combination of three different things. First thing is, you're afraid to lose her. You're worried that if you go for it, you might lose her, she might not like you, she's gone, and you lose your opportunity. So, you play it safe, you wait, you sit back, and think maybe eventually you can weasel your way in there. Mm -mm -mm. Second is, you feel like it might be creepy if you show her. You feel like it might be weird. And that likely comes down to your own personal issues with your sexual desires, your sexual desires, and your desire to go for women as a man. The third reason is you figure that if you just play it safe and be her friend first, she'll find out what a great guy you are, and then eventually you'll be able to get your way in there. That doesn't work. All right, so... If you think that these are actually reasons that guys get put in the friend zone, then go down and hit that subscribe button and hit the bell so you can get notified of helpful videos like this every week. Okay, by the way, I'm Brian from DateQualityWomen.com where I help single men date quality women so that they can find their dream woman. And now I'm gonna cover five ways that you can avoid ending up in the friend zone with that hot woman to begin with. First one is risk losing her. Hot women are a lot like gambling. You can't win if you don't risk. You have to be willing to risk losing your money to win in gambling and you have to be able to risk losing the woman to be able to get the hottest and best ones. She doesn't want a man who is so afraid of losing her that he can't make a move. She wants a man who has the courage and the balls and the belief that he may actually get her if he makes the move to go for her. Number two, touch her appropriately. If you never touch her, she may never know that you're actually sexually interested in her. The difference between a friend and a lover in the relationship is very similar. You share laughter, you share good feelings, you share good times, but the lover gets to touch her. The friend doesn't. So you need to make sure that you touch her to show her you're interested. Now, like I said, appropriately. That doesn't mean go around being Donald Trump and grabbing you know what. It means acting in an appropriate manner for the situation. So if you just met each other, touch each other on the shoulder, shake her hand, give her a high five. If you're getting to know her a little better, touch her forearm or her lower back, or if you're real close to her, maybe her hip. These will show her that you're not a man who's afraid of losing her, like number one, that you're sexually interested and if she likes you, you're going to find out if she is really interested or not. Because if she is, she's going to respond subconsciously to it and give you a real response that you can tell is true or not with no bullshit platonic niceties. You will know immediately if she actually likes you. And that's important. Because then you can gauge where you're really at and use that to move forward to keep building the relationship. Number three. Mention other women in your life. Guess what? Women want men who other women want. Why? 
because it shows they're not making a bad decision. It shows they're not the only one who wants that guy. So they must be making a smart choice if all these other women want him as well. On top of that, if he chooses her, then she's special. And guess what? She wants to be special. Plus, on top of that, if she's only so, so interested and you mention other women who are in your life who may be competition to her, she's going to get the idea, this is a man I might lose. And she might even get a little jealous. Be like, wow, I better value him more. I better go for him. I better put some work into him to get him to make sure that I don't lose him. By the way, if you think these points are helpful, then you're really going to like my conversation skills with women boosting audio. Just go down in the description, click on the link, input your email. I'll send it to you right away. And this will help you boost your conversation skills with hot women so you never get put in the friend zone with them again. Number four. Make sure you have a great time together. Think about it. If you're a boring dude, is she going to want to hang out with you all the time? No. If you have a great time every time you're with each other, she's going to want to spend more time with you. And guess who she's probably going to become more affectionate with, more attracted to, more interested in having a relationship with? The guy who she's spending all her time having a great time with. On top of that, if you're both just naturally having a good time and you're regularly together, it's natural for men and women who are enjoying their time together to start moving towards a bit of a sexual relationship. This will give her good emotions so she sees you as a man that she could potentially be sexually interested in. Finally, Number five, have good intentions for both of you. The reason why some guys get put in the friend zone is because they're too afraid to go for it. But guess what? If you have really good intentions, i.e. you want her to be really happy and you to be really happy, i.e. you want to make sure you have a great time with her and that she has a great time when she's with you i.e. you want to create a fulfilling sexual relationship for her and for yourself rather than just get laid. Which guy do you think she's going to want? The guy who just wants to sleep with her and is trying to be needy and creepy and manipulative to get that? Or the guy who has good intentions for both of you together so you can both enjoy that? She's going to want to go with that guy. So he's not going to give her the creepy vibe. And so she's not either going to get rid of him or friend zone him to keep herself safe. All right, dudes. So if you follow these five points, you will never again get friend zoned with hot women so you can always have a chance to create the relationship with them that you want. Now, if you have your own method for making sure that you never end up in the friend zone, put it down in the comments below. And if you like the video, go ahead and click like, plus subscribe and hit the bell so you can keep getting useful videos like these every week. To a quality life, gentlemen. See you next time.